All right, this is one last midnight. Today, we're going to look at Captain of Industry. Captain of Industry is a colony factory simulation game. So think of it, well, I don't know, maybe compare City Skylines and, and Factorio together or Satisfactory together. Uh, merge them into a game and you've got Captain of Industry. You start on an abandoned island and you're trying to turn that into factories, research labs, space program. You wind up building, mining, farming, shaping the terrain, exploring, trading, and trying to take care of your settlement all in one in this simulation game. Kind of fun. I, I, I played a couple times. And, well, not like all the way through, but I played enough to kind of get familiar with the beginning stage of the game. And so let's go ahead and go in. I'm, I'm going to play New Haven, which is the first map on there. And they give you a couple choices about maps. You can change some things on the map. If you want to make it harder or easier, you can do that. And then game difficulty, you've got Sailor, which is like really beginning. Everything's almost increased. And then Captain, I think, is normal. And Admiral, I think, is hard. So we're going to go with Captain, and we're just going to launch the game. All right, and we start off with a welcome message, which is cool. I did turn the music off because, I don't know, I didn't care for the music that much. So you're on the island, and here is your island. It's got a bunch of resources. You can see that there's some iron over here. There's limestone. There's some more iron, a coal deposit. Oh, sorry, I said the limestone. This is actually copper. There's limestone right over here. You've got some salt, and then there's some stuff underground that you can't see, but there's a nice little layers tab for resources, and it shows you where the resources are located. And so we have some oil right here, right next to our base, which is really nice. And like I said, here's all the other resources that I talked about. There's some sand over there, and we've got some water underneath, and this is all great. The game is running. I'm going to pause it really fast. So this is where you start. And it's a little confusing to begin with. I mean, there are dialogues that pop up that kind of say, hey, you really should be doing this or you should be doing that. But I don't know. I found it a little bit confusing. It is an early access, so don't knock it too much because, like I said, the game's in early access. Probably got a long ways to go. It's $30 for early access if you want to buy into the early access game. Let's go ahead and start recycling this unit. And you don't really, even though you set it up for recycling, nobody comes, runs out and grabs stuff. That's because they need some place to put it. You either put it in storage or you use it. And I don't have either right now. So the first goal is to turn around and get some uh, research going. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into the build menu. Now, forgive me because I don't know where everything is located still. I'm still kind of like hunting and pecking for this. I am going to set up two research stations to begin with because I want research to go more quickly. And then you, what's, what I do like about this is even though the building is not built yet, you can assign it some tasks. So once you start, you know, getting down some initial buildings, you can assign tasks to it right away, which I thought was really cool. The research tree is extensive. Look at that. That That's pretty dang extensive research tree. We're going to be over here. Let's go ahead and start with uh, basic farming. I like the fact that we can queue things up. So basic farming is going to be first. Construction will be second because we really want to unlock the assembly really fast. Um, mining and vehicles or vehicles and mining are going to be done next. And uh, the trade will be done uh, next. <laughs> so you can see I'm just kind of doing all research. <laughs> we'll do power after that. And then... Let's see, we're really going to need to start focusing on a few interesting things. So about this time, I'm going to get the beacon. Now, the beacon allows more people to come into your village because I think around about the time that those three are done, I'm probably going to want another worker or two. Then we're going to have to worry about concrete construction, diesel fuel, storage for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and do copper rubber ship repair and construction two and that's where i'm gonna leave it is construction two all of these oh we could do ramps last all of these are you know it, it kind of because this is the beginning of the spread um 
so you know i'm using my hands like you can narrow it it's narrow and then it widens out a little bit more so this is really your first phase that you're going to go through and it actually it goes through pretty quickly so don't worry about that taking an enormous amount of time because it really won't we're going to speed up time because that's what we're going to do and we're going to have this guy do some wood these guys are going to rush out we're going to do our research and our research will get started right away now we want to start a coal maker and later when we have uh when we can actually mine this coal over here this coal maker will go away but it's a nice use right away for uh the things that we're going to need it for which is like the smelting and stuff like that i'm going to put it down here in this little corner here and the coal maker actually it produces some byproduct and i forgot where it's at it's a here it is, smokestack so we're gonna have to put down a smokestack to handle the pollution part of this okay and everything is built with the construction materials i have my mouse over it right now it's this little thing with the arrow going down on it and actually here's all the stuff right here so construction materials i have 410 of them it's going to be really important to this guy needs a truck to be able to haul goods it's going to be really important to maintain all of your stuff here but but construction materials for sure otherwise you're not going to be able to to um construct anything else this game your your workers in this game are vehicles the trucks are think of them as your your worker unit your your guy that runs tasks and does buildings and stuff like that and you've got specific construction vehicles like a tree cutter or there later you get an excavator for mining and and so those are those are your guys so basic farming is done we're gonna go ahead and he's clearing that area out which is great we're gonna go ahead and set up another area for trees now there's some things that we need to do pretty quickly so basic farming got done so I want to put down a farm and there are th some things that you can get. So if you look at housing and services, you have some things unlocked right away, which is there is waste collection, which is these guys produce garbage. So you got to throw away the garbage somewhere. And then there's also food, which gets delivered to the houses. And I actually want to change some things right off the bat. I want to change and add my food production over here. And I want to get rid of this other food production. It'll go away in a second. And then we want to do the waste collection. And our waste collection. They are going to dump because we have to dump waste somewhere. I'm going to have them dump some waste over here. And they'll build off. They'll, they'll turn this into land, that water. They'll start filling it up. It'll be a landfill. So we're going to continue on. Food supply is low. I'm not worried about that right now. I believe my food will be stored somewhere else momentarily. Yeah, currently right now it's stored in the shipyard and I think they're going to take it out of the shipyard. So they can export it out of the shipyard. So I'm not too worried about that right now. Let's go ahead and get our farm going. Our farm is a pretty huge unit so i want to put it right here and we'll get the farm built right away we actually have people dying of starvation why are they not gathering the food like they should be gathering the food they should have dropped the food off so that people aren't dying uh i might have messed up on my, <laughs> my whole food thing <laughs> let's see if i kill people off yeah Okay, food market's got potatoes now. Let's see. I think they're going to go gather the potatoes. We shouldn't lose any. There we go. We shouldn't lose any more people. Well, we should lose a couple more people, but then here we go. Okay. Food is good. Food is repopulated back up again. That was a little derpy. I That was the first time I actually moved that before I had the farm down. So that was a mistake. I should have selected the potatoes right away, but oh well. You got to experience some people dying. <laughs> it's a good or bad thing, whatever it is. 
You got to see some people dying off. Let's get rid of this tree because that's kind of annoying. We'll get rid of that tree. We'll get rid of that tree. We're still waiting for the vehicles and mining to get completed. And we have a couple. We have our assembler down. Let's go ahead and pause it really fast. Our assembler, like I said, is going to make our uh, pieces that we need. Let's see. I'm going to expand out this way. I don't remember where I'm going to go with my base building. But just in case, let's let's keep it in an area where I can expand down if I want to. I'm going to make two of these guys. I should have held down control, but that's okay. And there we go. And each of one of these guys, I'm going to have it set up to make construction materials. Construction material. I do, oh, I have no iron, so I need to make a furnace really fast. And that was one of the things we got unlocked. So I got the coal builder going. We're going to get the blast furnace making. And since our scrap is over here, we're going to be using scrap to begin with. Since our scrap is over here, we're going to put our blast furnace over here. This is a temporary location for our blast furnace. We're also going to need some metal casters down, and it's smart to make two metal casters dang it i keep forgetting to hold shift we'll have the two metal casters down make sure they're on the right tile the blast furnace is actually going to give out molten um metal and so we need a molten metal channel we need one going here and we're going to have one going over here and that's perfect i believe there's an exhaust right we need an exhaust so we need a smokestack we have to take care of. There we go. And the rest is another byproduct that comes out, which we're not going to use right now. We're going to use later. So don't be too worried about that. We have some sort of storage. Did we get the storage unlock? I think we get the storage unlock when it's the, vine, um, the mining and the vehicles. Yeah, we get our first storage unit unlocked there so we got to wait for our storage unit but we're going to go ahead we're going to continue to keep making this we have 349 construction uh pieces so we should be able to make everything that we want to make and that's going to allow our construction pieces to be made assembly's ready the tools smelting all that stuff is ready Once they start delivering other pieces like, yes, the concrete slab, and once they get iron going, then we can start making the construction units, and there we go. And you can see the animation is pretty cool. So as they're processing stuff down, you can see that you've got some molten ore going, and then once there's enough molten ore going, they, they pour and they cast these into iron. And each one of these iron uh, slabs then get used and stored temporarily. And there they go. And then they're ready for use. And that's nice. I mean, it's cool that they're making multiple units at one time. So we're going to let this go. We're finally making our construction units once it, that iron gets delivered. And we'll have some of these guys going. Okay, vehicles got completed. So let's go ahead and put down some storage really quick. I don't really know where everything is at. So if you see me clicking through, it's because I haven't memorized where everything is located. Uh, vehicle deposit. Uh oh, that was the vehicle deposit. It wasn't storage. That was the vehicle deposit. Uh, do I get it in the trading dock? Let's see. Ah, I get it in the trading dock. Sorry, I missed the view. The Buildings look very similar. So I get it in the trading dock, so I'm still waiting. These guys are still doing what they're doing. We have our food being produced, which is great. So we won't have anybody die anymore. <laughs> anymore. I am going to have to wait to get new people. I might change this. I might... This is number three. So, okay. So I just got to wait two more. Okay, so we've, now we have our storage, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and take a storage unit, and let's start the storing down good. So this guy wants wood. I'm not going to do a lot of these. This guy is going to be iron. So 
so I want this guy to store the iron. And I want this guy to store wood. Good. We'll do more store. I'm, I'm staying... I'm not overbuilding, and that's one of the tricks that I learned kind of very early playing this game is that you really have to take it easy until you, you know, are start starting to produce a lot of stuff quickly. You need to kind of slow down, take it easy, and not overbuild because next thing you know, all of your construction material is gone, and then you're hosed. You've got you got nothing. You got nothing. So a lot of this, even though it's at speed three, a lot of this is hurry up and wait. We can start focusing on other pieces in this whole assembly production line here. Since we're starting to build a little bit more. Let's go ahead and copy this. I like the fact that you can copy, drag, and select. And then you'll have these units ready to go. It's a nice little copy paste. I'm going to put down two more of these guys because I want to start making mechanical parts, which is from the iron. And then the other thing I want to make is I want to make the vehicle parts because I want more vehicles. So this other one I'm going to make vehicle parts out of. And then the last thing is we probably should make uh, the electronic units. I made a quick little change. I moved my coal burner down so that I could put another assembly unit in here so that I could start producing the electronics. Because I do have some rubber and I do have some copper. Even though I'm not producing them right now, they initially came with the ship. And this guy's going to go back to making his coal. And so I've got all of these units uh, making things, which is great. And I finished the power and the maintenance. So... Let's get our maintenance building built. We have a maintenance depot. And let's put our maintenance depot somewhere over here. And then we also have the vehicle depot. We can make new vehicles. And mining is complete, so... Let's put our vehicle down there. And we did get the mining done. So the first thing I want to mine is coal. So that I can stop burning wood. So let's go ahead and put down, let's see, I think a good spot for this will be over here. Yeah, let's, let's put it over here. But in the meantime, let's get rid of these trees. And then let's go ahead and put the mining control tower. You need a mining control tower to control some things, which is the excavator and some other guys. So let's let these guys get built. We, I do want to start building an excavator and two additional trucks. So we'll queue that up. We need power. That's right. I forgot. We need diesel power in order to run this facility right now. So we'll put down a diesel generator. That's for the maintenance facility. Good, the beacon's done. Let's get some more people. I'm out of workers, so right? So that was the trick. If I had not killed off workers in the beginning, I would have enough workers. So let's go ahead and now get our beacon placed. And the beacon is uh, gathers refugees and stuff like that. So once the beacon gets completed, which will be pretty quick. And since I'm running at, what, 3x speed, it should be fast enough to get new workers going here. How is my construction? See, I'm out of construction goods. I should be making some. So I've kind of overbuilt a little bit. But that's okay. There's no workers to run the construction or the um, maintenance facility. We have just a little bit of iron. And this is kind of working its way down. We're using up these materials in here. But soon, we're going to have to mine iron. We're going to have to produce concrete and concrete slabs. And we're going to have to make electronics. It's nice that they give you this little thing that you can deconstruct. And it actually, you can make it up until like maintenance 
What was construction two? Construction two. Once you get into construction two, then you're okay. So we're expecting 16 refugees in three months. We'll keep this number. I don't want to exceed 140 because I don't want to expand out my farm or I don't want to expand out my housing just yet. So as we get new people, great. We're just going to keep an eyeball on that stuff. We don't have anybody working here. So how is that going to work out? Let's pause this one. And let's also pause this. I'm trying to get enough workers for my buildings here. We can pause one research facility until I get more workers. And then we can turn those two back on. I do like the fact that you can like zoom right in on stuff. That's that's great. I love it when they allow you to get your camera right up on top of your your working area so you can see what's going on. Not really functional, that functional when you're you're trying to manage your whole place, but nice to watch the animations and stuff like that. Okay, we got some new refugees. We went up in population, so we have 19 workers available. I'm going to turn this back on. And then I'm going to turn this guy back on. And we should have all of our workers available to us. We have nine workers unavailable or available to work. And we're just going to let them do their thing for now. So let's go ahead and start mining some coal. I think I set this to be chopped down. Yeah, we could chop down some more of this over here. So let's go ahead and unpause this mine tower let's give one excavator two trucks to this area over here before i go too too far i do want a storage unit for coal and i'm trying to think of where the best place this storage unit should be because coal is kind of used everywhere let's put it next to the research facility and we'll have this guy store some coal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This guy doesn't store coal. This guy is finished goods. Let's deconstruct that really fast. Do I have the loose production? Uh, let's see if I have the loose production storage yet. I don't. When do I get that? Loose production storage comes uh, up here. It's going to be, it's the next thing after the diesel that gets researched. So I need to wait. I need to wait and then I can, but I can still tell these guys to start mining coal. So let's go ahead and assign an area to mine. And I want to mine this area right here. I have to go down here like this. Okay. And he's going to go off and he's going to mine. And he's got to go around. And I don't understand why he has to go around. Because I thought that this slope was something that can be traversed. But maybe he's got to go around to dig from the top. He couldn't dig from the bottom because it was too high. Is that the case? Is that, is that what we're thinking here? Probably. Let's uh let's get rid of the mining. And we'll we'll start from back here again. Maybe We'll see what happens. We'll see Oh, it's going downward. The slope is going downward. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's see what happens with that. Like I said, I'm still really new to the game. Is he going to come from the other side and start digging in? Yes. Good. So my trucks are not going to have to... I'm, I was trying to avoid my trucks having to go around. Good. They can just pull right up. Nice. Nice. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. We have uh, 111 people we need to stay on top of our people delivery 
since we had people die, it might be a little bit strange. I want to stop at 140. I don't want to exceed 140. So we're just going to have to keep an eyeball on that. Everything else seems to be running pretty smoothly. We're, we're up on stuff. Our coal is down a little bit. Our wood is down a little bit because it's being consumed right away. But, oh, let's get rid of... Let's stop the coal burner because I don't need that anymore. Once this is complete, let's go ahead and shut this off because I am producing coal now. Okay. We'll stop the coal burner. That'll give us some excess wood so that we don't have to worry about using the wood on making coal. And... I do want to continue clearing out this tree area. New refugees, 127. All right, I have 127 people. I think I'm going to have to stop this next refugee because I'm going to bring be bringing in 16. So that's not going to work very well. So we're going to leave it at 127. Uh, well, that'll put us over. It'll put us over by one. Which... I don't know what would happen. You know what? Let's find out what would happen. Let's let's turn it back on again. Let's find out what will happen. Okay, we got basic diesel done. We're still holding off on basic diesel. Let's take the next 16 people in. Once the next 16 people come in, then we're not going to we're going to get rid of the Did we get No, we're working on storage right now. Once we get storage, we'll be in good shape. These guys are humping it away. It's nice that we're getting our coal going. The excavator will come back to get fueled. We'll have to come all the way over here to get fueled and then go over. Later, we'll get like a gas station where you can place gas stations around so the excavator doesn't need to go all over the place. How are we doing on this? Uh, we still have 700 uh, iron scrap and 500 concrete slabs. So we don't need to worry about producing iron and concrete just yet. It, we will be getting close to doing that soon. So we're going to have to pay attention to that. Probably should build a couple more vehicles. Let's go ahead and... Get down four, maybe. Waiting for the new delivery of refugees whenever they show up. Wood storage is already full. No, it's not. Why did it say... Oh, this is not wood. This is coal. Ah, uh, coal. I don't have coal storage yet. I'm still waiting for my storage to be complete. And then we can put down coal storage. Okay. New refugees, we're over. We're going to stop this guy. We have some that are homeless. And what's the population of homeless people? One. One homeless person. Four. Four homeless people. Sorry, my bath was off. We're going to... Well, should we build down a new... What do we have for construction material? We have a hundred. We could put down a new settlement. I mean, we are going to have to expand anyways. So how about we put down, what is it, housing? We can put down a new settlement. Let's put it over here. I mean, this would took what? It took 80 to put down a settlement. So we'll put it over there. We have the goods. We have the, the materials. We're not overbuilding right now, so we're still in pretty decent shape. Good. So he's no longer homeless. We're not going to go beyond 140. We went over by four, but we're not going to go over any more uh, for a little while anyways. Yeah, because we have to continue to keep doing this, which is building up to... You know, you need to get your base production lines in. You got to get the concrete going. You got to get the fuel going. You've got to get all that stuff going. So you got to do that before you really start getting committed on other things. And if I don't have to mine for ore, then I'm not going to worry about mining for ore. If 
Okay, storage is finally finished. Let's go ahead and put our loose storage down. We have loose storage and then we also have our fluid storage. So let's put loose storage down. I'm gonna put the coal for now. Let's put the coal over here so that they don't have so far to travel. I know this uses coal too though. It's like a rock in a hard place, right? Let's put it in the middle. I suppose all of this stuff could be temporary. So don't, don't stress out too much that I'm kind of just throwing things all over the place because I will, except for my settlement, I think I'll keep my settlement where it's at, but I think the main production of ore is going to move up here, right? It's going to move up where my coal and my copper are pretty much located. I could put it in the center of that. And then I have coal that going right there so I can have coal being delivered there limestone is a little off to the corner over this way so we'll worry about limestone a little bit later so we have coal storage now we probably should do some water storage because we're going to start needing water for a few of our recipes and i think i want to put water off to the side over here and i want to turn around and put the output somewhere over here like this Let's go ahead and put that there and then just rotate this guy around and put this guy here. Yeah, that looks good. And then we do have our liquid storage, our fluid storage. So let's go ahead and put our fluid storage in here. And we get to run, this is where like the factory building comes in. You can actually run pipes. So let's go ahead and run an output, oops, wrong place. Let's run an output pipe from here to, oh, dang it. I turned it around. No, what will happen if they deconstruct this right now? Back that up. Take it away. I have to rotate it. In is green, out is red. Put this down, okay. So let's get our pipe rebuilt. We can come here with the pipe and then down. And then we can take this guy and come across and make a junction. Good. All right, that will start storing water. Logistics has been completed. Or they talked about logistics because I put the pipe down. They talked about logistics. I don't have uh, conveyor belts yet. All right, that looks pretty good. I am actually going to stop here because I, if I continue on to concrete and rubber production, it's probably going to take like another half an hour. So I'm going to cover that in the next episode. Well, I appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to run a series on this for sure. Maybe even do some tutorials on how to play this game because this game is pretty cool builder slash factory game. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Would love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.